Hello everyone. So let's talk about effects in RPG Builder. Effects are um, pretty much the actions that are going to, to be triggered by either an ability, an item, or uh, quite a few other things that we will be talking about later. But for this video, we will keep it to abilities. So if I'm using this fireball ability right now, you see that whenever the projectile hits the uh, enemy, it's dealing 90 damage. So this 90 damage was not decided by the ability, but rather by the effect that the ability should trigger on hit. So let's look a bit how this works. So if you look at the fireball and the rank one of the fireball ability, and you go down, you see effects applied. Here you see the fireball damage. And uh, if we go to effects and look at fireball damage, that's what uh, this effect is. So, you, I mean, you know, you have a name, you have an icon. Icon is only needed if you want, for example, um, some kind of state effect, so like a buff on yourself, because it will be visible on the UI. Um, but the fireball damage effect is never visible anywhere, so you don't really need an icon. But here, you see that the effect as a type. In the case of the fireball, is it's, you know, dealing damage instantly, so it's instant damage as a type. Um, now it also has a main damage type. So for example, magical, I'm not gonna go too much in detail about uh, this because this is covered in the start video. Uh, the fire damage is the same, it's covered in the start video, but I'm going to be talking about effect specific values. So here, of course, we have uh, 50 for damage, and that's why um, we deal, well, in this case, 90, but this is because we have um, armor on. So we have 25 fire damage, and we have um, 21 intellect. So this is increasing our uh, fire damage. Uh, then we have lifesteal. So if we would now add uh, 0 0.5 to um, the fireball damage as lifesteal, we should be healing ourselves for 50% of the damage. And you can see here on the left, uh, if you look at here, there is plus 45 health. So this is actually now healing us when we deal damage. Uh, max HP modifier. So this would be if you wanted to deal more damage based on your maximum amount of health. And missing HP modifier is if you wanted to uh, deal more damage based on uh, how much health you're currently missing. So for example, for some kind of berserker class or abilities. A delay would be uh, if you wanted this damage to be delayed by a specific duration for whatever reason. So now let's create a new one and look at um, all those in, um, effect type. The instant healing is the same as instant damage, but of course, you know, for healing. As you can see also, uh, something interesting to note is that when you change the effect type, the editor is automatically updated so that it's not showing you uh, data and values it, that is not relevant for the current effect type. So as always, to keep things clean and organized, right? But now if you look at damage over time, uh, let's um, level up the fireball ability because the rank one is just doing instant damage. Did we actually save the fireball damage? I don't want to be healed anymore. So let's remove that and save. And we shouldn't get healed anymore now. Great. Um, let's level up the fireball ability to rank two because rank two, as you can see in the ability plugin, uh, is not only uh, dealing instant damage like the rank one, but it's also applying the burn effect. So this is what I want to look at right now. And now you see that uh, after you hit um, a unit, they also have this burn effect applied to them, which is dealing damage over time. So how does this work? If you go to effect and the burn effect, you see that this is of type damage over time, of course. Um, and now we have those things and we have a duration, in this case, three seconds. And we have also this stacking part, which is um, deciding, of course, you know, how many times it should be able to stack, but also the pulses. And because we have a duration of three and three pulses, it's going to last three seconds and uh, hit three times. If we want, wanted this to last 10 seconds and hit um, 20 times, we could do so. So let's save that and. Um, Use this and now you see that it's lasting much longer and hitting much faster but for much less damage each time right because it's you know spread uh, around all those pulses 
So once again, this was very, very quick to um, tweak. And uh, you can see how nice it is to work with RPG Builder for your abilities. So another type is, uh, well, heal over time is working the same way as uh, damage over time. But the stat one, the stat one is what you would use if you wanted an ability uh, to give you, you know, a buff or a debuff. So in this case, you could have a stat effect. You can choose how many stats you want to be affected. So you could have as many as you want. Uh, a debuff or a buff could, you know, um, be uh, for five stats or whatever. And here, all you have to do, let's just keep it to one for, for this video to keep it simple. But all you have to do here is uh, assign the stats that you want modified. So for example, we could do um, an armor and we could reduce the armor by 10. You could also choose these values to be a percentage. So if you tick this on, this is going to be madness 10 percent armor, not 10 as a value. And the duration for each stat. So if you put this uh, eight here, for example, this will be um, reducing the armor by 10 for 8 seconds of uh, the, uh, the enemy. And here you can choose what value you want uh, modified. In most cases, you would choose Cure, which is current. Uh, but in the case of a vitality stat, for example, such as health and stuff, you could choose to uh, reduce or increase the maximum health. So that's it for stats. Uh, stun, you know, um, I think we all know stun. When a unit is stunned, they can't move, they can't do any action. So this is pretty straightforward. You just have to decide uh, a duration. Sleep, immune, uh, morph is actually not fully implemented yet. Uh, dispel either. Teleport. So this is um, letting you teleport either to a completely new scene or instance. Uh, you can type the name. And uh, you can also choose to go to a specific position. In this case, it will be in the same world, so in the same um, scene but to this specific position and uh, to the target also. Um, this is actually not implemented yet because there is no targeting system uh, yet in RPG Builder. But this later will let you teleport to uh, your target. Uh, taunt, so taunt is going to force an enemy to attack you for a specific duration. Root is just, you know, it's not a stun, it lets you do action, but you actually cannot move. And silence is you can move, but you cannot use any um, action. So that was pretty much it for all the effect list and uh, what you're currently able to do in uh, RPG Builder. And like I said, those effects can be triggered by uh, abilities, and you can have as many ability, I mean, as many effects as you want on uh, your abilities. So if we wanted, for example, on the fireball of rank one, to now also, what could we do? Um, a stun, I guess. Let's uh, make sure we have the fireball rank one. No, we have rank two, so let's done rank. And now you see that this target is now also stunned um, for a specific duration because of this effect. So that's once again very, very easy to use, very easy to tweak. And all of that is done in the editor. You don't have any uh, line of code to type, which is amazing. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like that. And join the Discord if you want to start chatting with us. And um, maybe suggest things, ask questions. So that's it. And see you in the next video.